Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pina and this is our snack for the journey and this week we are still in the book of Amos, a very important prophet, a powerful prophet. He was not trained to be a prophet, God called him. He was a farmer and God sent him from Judah to Israel to prophesy. It's a very, very powerful uh, uh, message that he had and, and, and Amos was a kind of, yeah, he can, he can deliver and he did. He did, and he had some troubles, but he delivered the message. And before I share the, the, the verse for today with you, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel, to share this video with your friends and families, and help us to bless other people. Verse for today, we're still in the chapter 5, chapter 5, verse 22. Chapter 5, verse 22, look what he says. Even though you bring me burn offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. Though you bring choice fellowship offerings, I will not, I will have no regard for them. This is God talking to the people. Because the people, they, they, they did whatever they want to do, and then they would there and worship God, and bring the offerings, and bring this, and bring this to the Lord, to try to buy his favor and we already saw that thing there but now God is saying I will not accept them and I will not have regard for them and I hate the, the songs that you are singing all that kind of thing I don't I don't want that thing it's it's sometimes we do that right we, 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 we mess it up and then we go to the Lord and then we bring all those things but there is not there is no willingness in our heart to change our lives. We just want to, to give something to him to make peace or kind of uh, don't hurt me, all that kind of stuff and uh, or buy some favor and it's and the Lord said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get you. You're worshiping to other gods, you're serving other gods, and then you're come here and bring me sacrifice and offerings and peace offering and you think that everything is going to be okay that i'm going to forget everything that you did and you are doing and you're going to continue to do because you there is in your mind there is no plan to change but you're just bringing something for me to kind of uh, maybe i'm not going to pay attention in what you are doing i'm not going to do that i'm not going to do that so it's a very powerful message for them and for us too because we need to understand who God is because sometimes God loves everybody God loves you loves loves love and we think that uh, it's okay to do whatever we want because uh, God loves us you give a tithe to bring an offering go to church and do something on a Sunday morning and that we're gonna be okay and what the Lord is saying here that that is not gonna be okay that's not gonna buy me That's not going to work with me. Maybe work with your politicians or other people, but not with me. With me, it's a different game. And this is what Amos was telling them from the Lord. That the Lord will not accept those sacrifices and all those offerings. And we think that we can continue to live the way that we want, to do uh, what we want, worship the God that we want, even though once in a while we worship the Lord. It's not going to happen. He's not going to accept it. And it's a very important message for us. The Lord wants priority. He wants to be the only one. And He wants to be in the center of our lives. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.